On this week's episode, we talk about the top three ways to keep 2017's New Year's resolutions. Hi and welcome to episode 33 of the OptiLife RX show. I'm Billy Weiss, the 21st Century Pharmacist, and I want to wish everyone a very happy new year. As we approach the new year, I want to talk to you this week about my top three things to help people stay committed to their New Year's resolutions. So many times, and the research shows over 90% of the time, we fail when we make these New Year's resolutions. So we want to talk today about three simple ways that we can try to be better at completing the task that we decide we want to accomplish this year of 2017. So let's talk about number one being mindset. We have to think in our mind that this is something that we really want to do and we have to decide why we want to do it and why it's important to us. Something that could be very beneficial here and this is proven in studies is to write down why. And you can actually not only write it down now, but you can write it down every day. Lots of people suggest writing it down every morning. Put your why down. Put it on a sticky note. Put it on the refrigerator. Put it on your steering wheel of your car. Put it wherever it will remind you why this resolution is important to you. And the more that you can do that and make up your mind that it's important to you, the more you'll stick with it. And research shows that the mind is way more powerful than we could ever imagine. The mind is more powerful than what the body says. The mind is more powerful than the things that we have going on around us. We just have to think and be committed to it through our mindset. And then the second thing that I'd like to talk about that can help us stay committed to our New Year's resolutions is to be educated about it. Be educated about the best, most efficient, fastest way to accomplish our goals. Now when I say fast, I don't mean that our program, the OptiLife program, uh, talks about losing 30 or 60 or 90 pounds in however many weeks or whatever. While we do have people that do that, that's not really the goal of our program. The goal of our program is optimal health, wellness, and fitness long term. So we want you to be educated so that you can think more about long term results and long term goals and optimal health, wellness, and fitness for the rest of your life actually is what we say when we mean long term. So when we talk about being educated you need to make sure that the information you have is accurate. As I write my book right now, The 21st Century Pharmacist, one of the first things that I talk about in chapter one is how we have to be educated. What if everything or many of the things that we think to be truths about our health or our weight loss or our energy are not true? What if many of the things that we've been told are absolutes are actually sometimes just the opposite? What if the things we've been told to eat cause us to actually maintain weight or hold on to fat? What if the things we've been told to do as far as exercise can be detrimental to our body's ability to burn fat and build muscle? So we need to be educated and we need to get educated from not just anybody or anything or any source but a professional source that understands and has research to back up what they're talking about. I always talk about our program being a science-based program and in the book The 21st Century Pharmacist I have scientific references in every chapter uh, probably overkill actually as to the number of references I have but I want to make sure that people understand whether it's from the medical field or from just the general public that they understand that everything that I talk about has scientific backing behind it. If it's my opinion, I'll tell you it's my opinion. And then the third thing that I'd like to talk about to help us keep our New Year's resolutions is that we have to have that long-term commitment. I mentioned it earlier. Don't be worried about the next month. Don't be worried about the next three months even. Don't be worried about the next six months. While having goals for all those time frames and more can be very important, worry more about the long-term goal. The long-term goal of optimal health, wellness, and fitness. Whether it's to lose weight, 
have more energy, look better. It's not about a short-term fix. It's about making lifestyle changes that will keep us there forever while we may look better, feel better, have more energy, fit into smaller clothes. All those things are great. But if I can accomplish that while I improve my overall health and wellness and decrease my risk for going into a nursing home or having to go for a hospital stay, that should be the ultimate goal for all of us. So if we can just remember the three things that we've talked about here today that can help us be better with completing and holding on to our New Year's resolutions. Number one is to make sure we have the right mindset. Know our why. Know why this is important to us. We can't do it because it's important to somebody else. It has to be important to us. So we have to have that in our mindset. Number two is to make sure we're educated. Let's make sure we're taking the right steps to reach the goals that we've set for ourselves. And number three is to make sure we're committed for the long term. Committed people will do things no matter what, no matter how hard it gets. Other people who are just, I'll call, interested will quit or go off the, the other side or the other end or the off the wagon, whatever we like to use as terminology, any old time. Anytime somebody says, hey, let's go do this or that, or they're home by themselves and, you know, the ice cream's looking them in the face or whatever it is. So just think of those three things. I want everybody to have a very happy new year. We want to start 2017 off to be our best year ever. And we want to make sure that we give you the opportunity to do that. January the 5th, that's Thursday, we're going to have a free wellness workshop at 7 p.m. at the Prescriptions Plus Pharmacy in Kings Mountain. We would love for all of you to come. We would love for you to text OPTI, O-P-T-I, to 97000. That's OPTI, O-P-T-I, to 97000. Please like and share this with your friends and family. Anyone who wants help through our program can obtain it. We have amazing results, and we want to show you how everything works on Thursday, January the 5th. So we'd love to see you all there. And since we're so excited about our new name, OptiLife RX, we want to make sure that you understand all of our social media has changed over to OptiLife RX. So our Facebook, our Instagram, our YouTube, all those are now OptiLife RX. So we want you to like, subscribe, join, share, do all the things that you do on social media. And please, let's help 2017 be the best year that all of us have with our health, wellness, and fitness. So we teach that six to eight hours is the range of where you want to stick to. Six is the bare minimum because it actually takes...